Hi there. How's everyone doing? I just thought I'll make a very, you know, non-technical, non-educational or non-cooking related video um, just to share about what's been happening to me and why did I hit a pause on my video uploads. So if you don't want to hear out a personal front related story then please feel free to leave this video but if you do stick around thank you so much for being a part of the frugal green fam and yeah let's just see how much i can actually share so hello everyone those who those of you who don't know me this is arpi from frugal green indian and i uh, usually share video uploads about ilts training english communication and cooking because these are the three things i'm good at and i really love doing so i've been uh, kind of stuck since the last couple of weeks and there's been a reason why and before I share my story just wanted to thank Abhilash from Indian Mebali Abhilash because he's the one who's actually inspired me to come out with my story he shared a wonderful story a wonderful video actually not story it's a real life thing all about uh, the kind of bullying he's faced and yeah it's it takes courage to just come up with such an important and such a such a sensitive part of your life so took some inspiration from that and yeah here I am I'm not here to talk about anything related to bullying but it's actually about what's been happening in my life in terms of mental health related issues and some of you who follow me on my food page on instagram the frugal green eats page you all know that that page is dedicated all to all about nutrition and food and the relation it has with our brain health with our mental health and things like that so you all do know then that mental health matters to me a lot i am extremely extremely aware of what happens when your mental health is not good it's not healthy when you yeah so yeah and i say it from experience whatever i do share on my frugal green eats page or even on any other social media platform i always share things which are from my experience because i've suffered a lot i've suffered a lot in terms of dealing with my mental health issues since a very young age so with this lockdown and maybe because i'm currently jobless as well i decided to quit my job at a very optimum time right where before the lockdown and everything and all the mayhem just hit the roof uh, yeah so everything's been taking a toll on me and the last couple of weeks have been horrible i I feel myself slipping back to that, slipping back to that time frame where I was just reliant on antidepressant pills and other self-harming tactics and it took me a very big amount of time, effort and willpower to pull myself out from that phase of my life and it's been almost 
three four years that I've stopped taking any sort of pills because pills are just there to just push it you know it doesn't really cure anything it is just pushing you know what's gonna happen so yeah as long as I can remember probably since the age of 10 11 I've been suffering from depression I was diagnosed later on and was given pills I've been suff- I had been suffering from insomnia and yeah I just wanted to change the way I felt about myself and the last three four years have just been that that constant struggle to stop myself from going back to that phase but what's happening in the last two weeks is that I can feel that pain coming in and I don't want to go back to be you know to be the slave of medicines and pills and all and all I've been doing is just cooking that's it because thankfully that's the only therapeutic thing I can still feel in my life because I've stopped doing everything else I've stopped doing training I've stopped doing I've stopped making plans for my future because we were supposed to move away to another place that's the reason I quit my job because by now I should have been there and that's not happening because of the wonderful travel restrictions and lockdown and everything and until like at least two three weeks ago I was still being positive still thinking that yes I'm just gonna change my plans I'm just gonna you know shift and utilize this time to just upgrade my skills to learn new skills and it was going okay until I don't know everything just felt like it's crashed and that's the reason I have been not doing my educational videos as well here on YouTube and I just wanted to apologize for the subscribers for the people who are waiting for those videos I have those videos chalked up and the plan was ready everything's ready and I just don't know I can't finish it and I'm trying I'm trying I think that this realization which has come that I need to stop slipping away is a big wake up call for me and I promise I am trying please bear with me a little give me some time and I hope in a few days I can go back to that routine where I'm actively researching and learning and training myself so that I can come up with good videos, good photos, good pictures so that I can actually help people, you know, because that that is one thing which happened to me about three, four years ago that I realized that when I actually do start helping people in whatever way whether to educate them or teach them how to cook or whatever anything anything even a small minute thing that's one of the ways which is bringing some therapeutic value in my life and the people who know me know that i've changed my career course my my entire life so that i can dedicate myself for, to the society and a big part of my uh, mission was uh, in that in that route was that I was a teacher for a wonderful wonderful um, place for a wonderful NGO and that was it was really rewarding and now that it's gone it is something which I do I am missing and maybe it's a combination of that a combination of the mayhem around us and and uncertainty but please stick around i am trying to take care of myself and i will get back to the routine please stick around and i love you guys so much 
all my subscribers thank you so much for sticking around for not unsubscribing or unfollowing and things like that <sighs> just thanks and i hope you all are doing fine i hope you all are not in any mess and if you all are if your mental health is at is not in the optimum level now then just know that we are probably on the same boat and it will get better okay take care